Hi everybody, my name is David Dilling from Marksware and today I'd like to show you our new version of Q2ID version 5. Last year in 2009, Q2ID won Commercial Plugin of the Year for InDesign awarded by InDesignSecrets.com. This prestigious award didn't come for just any reason. Q2ID has long been a very powerful and easy way to get your complex or simple Quark Express content right into Adobe InDesign. Q2ID version 5 is a plugin for CS4 or CS5 of InDesign. Inside InDesign you can then via the Marksware menu item open Quark Express 8 or lower files right up within InDesign. It's that easy. But to give you an idea exactly how Q2ID works, how simple it really is, and what exactly can it convert, <clears throat> I'm going to now show you a video demonstration of Q2ID version 5 from Marksware. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so first let me show you here we got a Quark Express file, .qxp file, and let's open that up and see how it looks uh, within Quark just to give us an idea. Okay, so here we see the file. It is advertisement, obviously for Flycheck here, which we hope you all use as well to check your Illustrator, InDesign, Quark, you name it, type files to make sure they're print ready or even, quite frankly, online ready. We can check for anything, more or less anything. Right, so we're going to go back and check this file again after we do the conversion with Q to ID into InDesign. I just want to show you how it looks in Quark and notice some of the various uh, overlapping or trapping elements going on, some of the text styles used, and the positioning. We'll go back and check this out later again. Okay, here we are with an Adobe InDesign CS5. You'll notice the Marksware menu item, which we're going to uh, check out in more detail here in a moment. Q to ID version 5 will work in Adobe InDesign CS5 or CS4. I should note there is still an Adobe InDesign CS3 version for sale on our website. However, it is not officially supported anymore. Okay, let's see how Q to ID operates. All right, here we see the Marksware menu item, and under that we'll see the Marksware products for this instance, Q to ID, version 5 in Adobe InDesign CS5. You'll notice the license control, and we have a separate film about what the license control is all about and how to activate Q to ID. It's quite simple. Q to ID updates is where you'll go to our webpage to find the latest version. We recommend you check this frequently so that any new features or functions or bug fixes can be addressed for your version. And Qt ID itself operates quite simply. You simply choose Convert Quark Express Document and let Qt ID do all the work. We get the Open Quark Express Document dialog. We'll just simply go to our desktop and find the file we were just working with and select Open. Q to ID will do all the work for you, so you don't have to reformat and relay out your entire document. Watch how quickly it converts. Done in literally seconds. You now see quite an incredible conversion. Very precise, down to the last element. Style, attributes, trapping or overlapping, pretty much you name it, we'll convert it. All in all, we convert most everything relatively completely you will have to do some touching up. For instance, here's a common problem which I want to highlight. You'll see here this text is highlighted in pink. That's indicating a substituted font. We can adjust that or turn off that preference underneath InDesign preferences composition. Don't highlight substituted fonts and don't highlight substituted glyphs. I substituted these on purpose for this file started many years ago and I've since recycled it. We turn that off and now you see the file looks excellent. Just look at that. Q to ID version 5 for Mac or Windows provides intricate details of the content within a Quark Express document to be instantly recreated with an InDesign. Items that it can convert from Quark to InDesign include page positioning, color models, fonts and styles, images, and text attributes, but even tables, layers, blends, runarounds, like I said, pretty much you name it. Now let's compare 
the original Quark Express project with the InDesign CS5 document we have now. All right, so here we see the original Quark Express document, and here on the right we have the InDesign CS5 file. Just look at that. Pretty much a perfect conversion. Really is amazing what Cuda ID version 5 can do for you. I must also note, because we get this question asked a lot as well, although I'm on a Macintosh here, I can use Cuda ID to also convert Windows files created in Quark Express right onto my Macintosh InDesign. This also works the other way around or vice versa. Very handy, Cuda ID version 5. But don't only believe me and this video. Go check out what other people are saying about Cuda ID on our YouTube page, which is youtube.com forward slash Markswear TV. You'll see a testimonial section with many testimonials from industry experts and users alike, including here we see Anne Marie Concepcion, an InDesign trainer who had nothing but great things to say about Cuda ID. Anyway, you can watch this for yourself. If you need to purchase Cuda ID, just go to the Marksware webpage at www.marksware.com. There you can see all of our products, including, of course, Cuda ID version 5. It's available for Mac or Windows. Like I mentioned, there's also full technical information. And you can, of course, buy now. It's quick, simple, and easy. Alternatively, you can also purchase from one of our local resellers around the world. Well, thank you very much, folks. That was Marksware's Q to ID version 5. The only way, the easiest way, the most effective way to get your Quark Express content, version 8 and lower, right into Adobe InDesign CS5 or CS4. This is David Dilling signing off for Marksware. Have a great day.